With a new game comes new mechanics, and this cannot be more true than for CS2. Hey everyone, it's Flasher, and today I have a super important video. You need to know the tricks I'm about to show you because this will literally win you rounds in the future. I will be showing you three must-know tricks for the bomb in CS2. All right, let's get right into it. So for the first tip, this one is super important. So when the bomb is planted, you can actually tell if the CT diffuser has a kit or not. And I will actually just prove this to you. So as you can see in this first clip, the wires coming from the bomb are actually blue and green. Now this means that the diffuser has a kit. And in this next clip, the wires, as you can see, are actually a different color. They're now blue and yellow. Now, what this means is that the diffuser does not have a kit. Now, some of you may not think this is a big deal, but this is actually super important. If you're in a position where you can see the wires of the bomb, or even if you have an op or just good vision, this will actually completely change the way you play the round out. Obviously, if you see that the diffuser has a kit, you know that you need to swing right away. Now, if the wires are blue and yellow, you know you could play the round out jiggle and easily win the round all right this next trick is super important a lot of you know that you can actually right click throw a grenade while diffusing like this but did you know that you can also left click throw a grenade well yeah it's pretty easy so while you're diffusing you're gonna hold your right click as you were gonna throw a right click nade then hold left click at the same time and then let go of right click now you can throw a left click grenade while diffusing like this so you can actually really use this to your advantage and fool your enemies, making them think that you're not defusing because you're throwing a left click grenade. So here's how you do it. All you have to do, go to the bomb and just quickly switch like this. And then you can just toss a far nade like this and they'll think, hey, he's not defusing because there's no way he can throw a grenade this far while defusing. And they won't peek you and you'll win the round. So this trick is actually super cool and one of my favorites to use on CS2. All right, this third tip is actually super interesting. In CSGO, you actually were not allowed to plant in the water on Inferno. But in CS2, you can. And this creates amazing new opportunities. Now, the reason this does is because when the CT comes to defuse, they will have to walk in this puddle of water. And what that means is an audio cue will be given to the T player that a CT is about to defuse or in the area of the bomb. So if you're posted up in an angle like this one where you can hear the water, you can actually surprise the CTs and have information on them without ever having to peek because you'll hear this sound of them walking through the water. And my favorite part about this new feature is that you can actually throw a molly in the water and it won't go out. Now, this is just hilarious to me. But you may be asking, hey, Flasher, there are other bomb tricks on CS2. Well, that's why you need to check out my other videos where not only will you find bomb tricks, but perfect flash lineups that you need to know on CS2. Thanks for watching.